So yeah, boys, man, welcome back to the podcast. If you like the intro clip, please like the video and sub to the channel because it only gets better from here on out. But with that being said, let's hop right into the vid. Hayley, I'm asking men to show more respect. And I'm going to give you three reasons why women's football deserves your admiration. Women's football is not less impressive. Stop the cap. <laughs> now, I don't like any respect for female footballers or for women's football in general. I just see it for what it is. It's just nowhere near the level as men's football and it never will be. But it's definitely improving. It's got way better over the years. And I'm sure it'll only continue to get better. But the men's football's getting better at the same time too. There's a reason why football or soccer, whatever you want to call it, is the most popular sport in the world. Shown you a portion of that clip before, but I stumbled across the full clip the other day, so I had to put it in there for you guys. And it's also to prove a point he didn't do it just once, he did it a few times. I played football from the age of 5 to 16 years old, and I played for professional football teams during that time. And I'm telling you to run through the whole team like that, it's not something that happens every game. It ain't easy. Those of you who played football, you'll know that. And it looks like they're playing on a good pitch, so them girls are probably a high level. But he's making it look easy. This man's a menace as well, he's laughing, he's enjoying himself. And I'm sure these women are a high level, but again, there's levels to this shit. Now you might be sitting there thinking oh he's a full grown man. Alright so let's have a look at when the female Zurich team the professional first team played against its under 14 boys. Just so you know, at that time, that female Zurich team was the best in their country, best in their league. And they got absolutely smashed 6-1 by 14-year-old boys. And that's not to take the piss out of them, that's just the reality. Anyway, I think that covers it for the football. Let's move over to basketball. Alright, y'all. So, I, I, in case I didn't know, um, I'm a track star, I guess you could say. Quote-unquote track star. Um, I'm, I run track pretty seriously. So... And being a person that plays sports his whole life, this topic right here gets me every time. People are just unwilling to accept that men and women are not equal athletically when it comes to athletics. I'm not saying, um, like, e equality, like the regular equality protocol. I'm not saying men are more, you feel me, more powerful, I guess. I'm not saying men are worth more in, like, everyday life. But when it comes to the athletic side of things, man... Men, their bone structure, their organs, their muscles, all of that shit is catered more towards athletic events and that allows us to do better because we're stronger at the end of the day, you feel me? Naturally stronger, you feel me? And of course there's women out there that are stronger than some men, but it's a small minority of women that are stronger than some men, you feel me? And even those women that are stronger than some men, they're only stronger than the bottom tier men when it comes to strength. Like the niggas that really don't work out, you feel me? But I just want y'all to know that that we are not equal when it comes to sports, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no disrespect. And 
censoring this topic, women's sports would never be as big as men's sports just simply because they would never be as as athletic. You feel me? And then I know some people don't want to hear that. You feel me? We want to live in this fairy tale land where women can do anything a man can do, but no. Like for example, look at the NBA. You don't have any female John Morant's doing shit that he does. You feel me? Any female LeBrons, any female KDs doing what they do. And just, we gotta face the fashion and accept the nature, bro. Just men are naturally stronger. You feel me? It is what it is. Piss off, and that's just the reality. Anyway, I think that covers it for the football. Let's move over to basketball. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. I think the biggest compliment you can give to a female athlete when you're competing with her is to not give her an advantage and not treat her differently to a man. Otherwise, it's kind of patronising, right? If you're only going 50% in just because she's a woman. And these guys were obviously asked to do that, and I don't think the girls even got the ball once. Even that woman on the bench was embarrassed for her. Alright, y'all. What he said is facts, though. You feel me? For the most part, you want to, especially in a competitive setting, you know what I'm saying? You want to go as hard as you can against everybody. Don't don't underestimate anybody. You feel me? Because it makes them better. But also I want to point out, in these basketball clips as well as the uh, soccer clips for you American people and football for you uh, European people or overseas people, you can see how easy the men are making it look. As in the soccer clips, the guy is laughing, you feel me? Just running through a whole team. And for you guys that don't know, it's 11 people on, on the pitch, on the field for soccer. It's 2 versus 11. And they're just going probably like 60% to be real with you. 60% gain speed and fucking them up really easily. You know what I'm saying? As you can see right here in the basketball clips, they're getting backdoor cuts easily, driving by easy. Just because men are naturally stronger, bro. Like... Like I said, no disrespect, but it is what it is. I'm tired of this narrative that we have to keep, we have to put this false, keep our mind falsely open to that woman to say that woman can do anything a man can do. And it's just not possible, especially in the athletic world. It's not possible, man. It's a reason why most men or are lumberjacks, butchers. Anything physical labor is 90% men, you feel me, for that reason. You feel me, construction, you rarely see females in construction in the field actually building shit because they need the strongest motherfuckers, bro. And the strongest people in this earth are men. It's because the genetics, you feel me, this, 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 God damn stutter. the genetic build of us just makes us stronger, bro. And ain't no disrespect to women. I'm, hey, I respect all women that put that work in, you feel me, because there's some women that put a hell of a lot of work in that can be... That could beat a lot of men, but that's like, like I said, it's a small minority of them, but it's some up there that can combat their genetics and build their skill up to be, to be able to compete with men. But it's very rare for the reason, like I said before, men are just nasty stronger. And in sports like soccer and basketball, I like, how I say this, they require a lot of skill, but also athletics it's like 50 50 you feel me so but that since you're athletically way more you feel me way more developed way like you're just so lopsided that way you can negate a whole lot of skill you feel me like we could put a goddamn third string not third string but let's say bench rider in the nba that gets no minutes put that nigga in a WNBA, and that nigga is going crazy he don't be an mvp and he probably don't win a championship by himself. Just just because of those athletic genetics. You feel me? So, as a sports guy, I always get on there and talk about this topic. Because a lot of people like to, like to try to have 
like imaginations and be like, "Woman well, we can do anything." Like hell, nah, bro. One minute is stronger when it comes to athletics and just in general, in general life. He has to do that, and I don't think the girls even got the ball once. Even that woman on the bench was embarrassed for him. Those women there, to be fair, look really strong, look in really good shape. I don't think three average women would have actually been able to beat him. And that's a compliment to those women. Even when it was just two of them, they held on for quite a while. But again, look at the difference in strength. And she said after, we'll only do one. They didn't do one. They did no more after that. Alright, yeah, this right here is probably the best example you can see of pure strength, right? Tug of war is a test of pure strength, you feel me? Skill eliminated, just pure strength. And as you can see, the woman on this in this clip are very, very strong. They're very defined. You can see their muscles. You can tell they lift weights. Three strong women, probably in the top 10% of women physically, athletically, barely beat one man. You feel me? One athletic man. When they put two up there, he beat them. Two strong women. Like 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 my boy Rako said, these are very strong women. Your average woman, it'd probably take five of them to beat him. You know? Like this right here, if anybody ever, ever, ever tells you, oh, women can compete with men, or I know a lot of women that could be men, show them this clip. Because, like I said, these are above average women, strength-wise. And they struggle to be one man. Three of them. You know what I'm saying? It's just crazy to me. And she said after, we'll only do one. They didn't do one. They did no more after that. Nearly every time you see a mixed doubles match, this happens. When the guy serves, if he's got a powerful serve, she's not getting it back. The difference in speed and power between a man and woman serve and professional top flight tennis is huge. Even the best female tennis player of all time, probably the GOAT, Serena Williams, who is strong, muscular, powerful. Serena Williams and Venus Williams are like the female goats of tennis. I know there's some other ones. I'm not a huge tennis fan, but I think a lot of us know that. And people used to say that they could beat men or they could compete against the men. So they even tried this. A quarter of a century after King beat Riggs in the Battle of the Sexes, 203rd ranked German Carsten Brash beat Serena Williams and Venus Williams back to back at the 1998 Australian Open. He's 203rd ranked and he beat maybe two of the best female tennis players of all time back to back. Now, I'm not trying to sh** on female athletes. I'm not trying to take away the greatness from some of these athletes like Serena Williams, Venus Williams. They've done things that most human beings couldn't do. All I'm saying is that there's a difference and pretending there isn't is unrealistic. There's actually other sports where women are better at men. Usually when it comes to flexibility, women are better. Anyway, I'm going to end this video with this last clip and I think the title's pretty fitting. It's called The Reality of Biology. And I think there's a lot of people out there that need to accept that. speak on the, the tennis situation first let me give y'all a good view of this all right this right here i remember it was a video clip of an interview of a man he was he was putting his top five greatest tennis players of all time he was a former pro top level pro and he didn't have serena williams on it 
well, they invited him to a talk show to talk about it. Um, it was all it was an all women's talk show, of course, and they were upset. And he explained to them very something similar to this. And I believe he said something around top two hundred. Which if he did, he'd be fucking dead ass accurate, which is crazy because he didn't even really have the facts to it. You know what I'm saying? He was just guessing. But they were trying to tell him that oh, Serena Williams could be top ten, something crazy like top ten in the world in men's tennis, and he had to. First of all, I hate when people who never competed at a high level in a sport try to tell a high level athlete their unwanted as opinion. Like, motherfucker, you've never been at a high level of a sport to know the difference in levels. But he explains to them, like, I think he said 200 or 150 in the world. He said she wouldn't even be that. And they said, oh, she wouldn't want to go, blah, 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 blah. And they were just trying to discredit him and at the end of the, of the interview they pressured him to put serena williams in his top five just to save face because motherfuckers was hating on him but it just goes to show you man like i'm like it's the, the running topic of this vid men are naturally better at sports you know what i'm saying and we need to stop putting this idea that men and women can't compete together you feel me and keep it separate because if you start doing it together, motherfuckers don't get mad and say, well, it's not fair. Well, this is what you niggas wanted. You feel me? But now let's talk about the track club. Because like I said, I'm a track star. I run track. Let me get up there for y'all. Up to speed. Right here. Let me get a good view. All right. So y'all right here. I'm going to explain this event to y'all. This event right here is the midst 4x4 relay. It just got added to the track world. Uh, it's two men, two women. A regular 4x4 is all, is all for one gender. So obviously it's two men, two women. And usually how this is ran is they match up the men, the men with the men, the woman with the woman to, to, um, what the hell? Why am I getting a, why am I getting a blank right now? What? To avoid this type of, uh, situation of a men and woman competing. Cause as you can see, he just toasted her shit, right? Track is one of those sports where you can see because it's so like you can it's tactics you learn to track and stuff, but it comes down to running. You know what I'm saying? It's a natural sport. It's a it's where you can see the difference between the potential and male and woman athletes. You feel me? If you check right now. If you check right now, look up top 100 meter times by men versus women, you will see a big ass gap in time. You feel me? Or any distance, you can see the big ass gap in time. It it's one of those sports that very that shows you exactly the difference between the athletes and why we don't compete together. You know what I'm saying? And it's I like it because it's one of that it's one of the sports to where women don't complain and say they can beat a man because they understand it track is the sport we're going to be very honest and they understand that they cannot compete with most men and they don't complain like the WNBA or anything like that you know what I'm saying all respect to women athletes but it has got to be said to keep it real and also I want to give women let's let's give women a round of applause though because when it comes to strength sports and shit like that of course they're not going to be as good but when it comes to as my boy said in his video Bro, what the fuck? Like my boy said in this video anyway. Dancing, uh, gymnastics, ice figure skating, ice skating. Women are better because they have more flexibility. So it is some some sports that women are better than men at, but it's very select. You know what I'm saying? But anything strength comes to strength. Raw talent, raw strength, men are better just because we can take more durability, we can train more without getting our bodies broken down, you feel me? And we just have bigger organs, muscles, bones, everything stronger. It is what it is, but I just want to bring this to y'all. Just something different, you feel me, at the end of the day, some sport content. But with that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned from anything I said in this video, and comment down below what you learned and what I said that was important that stuck with you. I hope you had a good day or night whenever you're watching this, and with that being said, peace out.